Yo my dudes, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we're just going to basically continue working on um, the quick latches. So like I mentioned in the previous vlog, so I made a bit of a mistake, it's my fault. Um, I, my intention was never to hide anything from you guys from the channel. Um, the whole reason for the channel or the whole reason for me actually creating my own channel and working my car is basically um, to learn. So basically um, the method that I'm going to use to fix um, the quick latch hole that I um, basically drilled a little bit bigger. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, the plates that I actually cut out of my bootlet. I'm going to use those plates and then I'm just going to um, create another circle. I'm going to then put it on the, the hole that I created that was a little bit too big and then from the bottom I am going to make weld it. Okay, when I say I am going to, I'm not actually going to. Uh, there is someone that actually that is going to make weld it from the bottom up so that will then close it and give it a flat surface. And then what we then do is basically I'm going to create the hole, the whole um, the whole size that it was supposed to be and then we are going to flat it and then basically just spray the top part of the bootlet not the whole bootlet itself uh, that is the method I am going to go with um, there is other options such as maybe buying uh, a bigger a bigger quick latch which I am going to do as well um, but my in my case I do actually just want to fix it up just to show you guys what I am capable of or I do want to basically learn from my mistakes so then the latches that I did order is going to obviously go for the front um, for the bonnet like we have planned or like I have mentioned uh, previously so yeah um, we're going to head out to Graham's to go get um, that adapter like I mentioned um, early on and then we'll just basically get, uh, what I then have to do is basically just solder it together so that um, it makes it much easier for me to actually remove the bootlet a few moments later so guys this is uh, my cousin Graham's uh, spare shop uh, he has a few parts over here um, he also does um, servicing mechanical work like it says on the gate over there so if you guys are looking for space as well as any um, mechanical work that you guys need to be done you guys can contact him as well his link is in the description below uh, i also came across this odyssey over here uh, i noticed that there is a rear fog light which i do have on my other um, eg bumper as well um, i just purchased this for him for a friend of mine that wants it so maybe i'll get this as well and then the whole reason for us actually coming here was for this little adapter over here so, as you guys know, this adapter is going to be fitted here for the bootlet. He actually gave this um, adapter for footy, um, but I just thought I'll just give um, the guys that are working here for him some cash for a cool drink or some food as well. So yeah guys, if you guys are interested in any uh, Honda parts, uh, please make sure to contact Graham's. USPs, they are situated in, I think it's Blackheat side. And this is also the inside of the place.
Nou, dan ging je iets, uh, de ket aan nou. Hier doen ze het. Hello guys, I just returned from Grimms. I managed to get that adapter. So what I'm basically going to do it now is uh, just remove um, the bootlet and just put it down on the floor. It's pretty warm today, so I'll just set up a little fan as well. And then I'll wait until the soldering iron gets warm so that we can basically connect those adapters or that adapter together so it's easy for us to really remove the bootlet. Okay guys, so I managed to remove um, the boot lid. So we're just gonna have to do these connectors. Let me just show you guys um, the adapter that I got. So this is the adapter that I got. Uh, we're basically just replacing that. Um, putting one on the side. And then obviously on the side as well. Um, hopefully this kind of fits in here so yeah so actually fit in here so I wanted something like this and as you guys can see it's easy adapter over here I'm not sure if you guys can see but this adapter is much bigger and actually will not fit through here so that is why I went um, with this little adapter over here so it can basically be pushed in again here and then the grommet can basically close again so I'm just going to remove this and then basically just solder the wires together. As you guys can see, everything does match like it should be. And this is a Honda part as well.
right, so as you guys can see, he's working. Let me just show you again. So as you guys can see, the lights are working. So there's the parts as well. Uh, I'm just going to open up uh, the boot and show you um, what it looks like as well. Let me just do that quickly. Just look up the side. Right, okay, here we go. So basically, if I just remove this, you guys can see here that it's neatly done. And then also this, this little gap over here. You can see it's small enough to just put out of this gap over here. So basically, I can just remove this and then the whole bootlet will come off, like I mentioned. I can easily also just tuck this back over here, to the left over there. I can even push the grommet back if I want to as well. And then basically put, put the bootlet in its place. It's a little bit difficult with um, the cameraman. I'll show you guys. There you go. And then basically just locks in. And then it's done. So yeah, this is what it looks like right now. Everything is in working condition. Uh, then I just want to show you guys um, this over here. Like I mentioned in the previous uh, video that I did cut this a little bit too big. Um, yes, not all people are going to uh, notice it because of the black that I did. Um, as you guys can see, this was actually the first one I did, which came out perfect. Um, what happened here guys was I was in a hurry um, to basically do this one. The reason for me being in a hurry was because the disc that I had on my Dremel had little, what did I say, thread on it. So yeah, so I was just cutting as fast as I could, as fast as possible and I did not want to cut um, too small and then I have to cut out again. So what I did was I cut out big and then I cut out too big. So like I mentioned, um, we will be putting a little circle in here a uh, flush circle from um, the plates that I basically cut out here so we'll be putting it over here flat and then from the inside of the bootlet we are going to tack it the side the side all around um, so that there's no um, basically bubble on the side and then we'll basically just um, body fill it or what do they call it um, can't get to the name bondo it so basically we will just bundle uh, the boot lid um, from the top part, the inside will obviously be sealed and then we'll obviously seal it and then basically I am going to create the circle, um, the, the actual circle, the proper circle that it should be and then we'll basically just uh, sand it down and then we are going to spray this little unit over here, we are going to leave this as per normal. I am however going to take the whole boot lid to the place to match the color so that everything does match like it should match um, I hope the color is going to come out right like I mentioned before I can get a bigger one which will go over here but I do also want to show you guys that I am capable of actually fixing uh, my mistakes as well so I am going to learn from my mistakes as well so yeah hope you guys um, like this video um, I just also like you guys to please subscribe those that are actually not subscribed I would just like you guys to please subscribe and please do mention if you guys do like what I've done to the car. Um, just give a comment as to what you maybe do differently. However, my car is uh, track car based. So I want interchangeable parts on the car. I do plan on doing um, the bumpers, the front, the rear bumper as well as, um, sorry, the rear bumper as well as the front bumper as well. Um, for some of you guys that are aware, you guys do know that I have interchangeable parts um, like I do have the OEM rear bumper still with the rear fog light on um, the left hand side as well as well as I do still have 
my EG, would they call it EG8 or EG9 front. As you guys can see, I do have the EG6 um, front, which is actually the hatchback. So yeah, I would like to um, basically have the exact same concept over here, but it will just be on this side over here, so it will be easy to remove. So I can basically um, change my bumpers and if I do want to. There's also another thing that I have uh, noticed that I actually have to do. I always wondered what this little cross is over here. I always assumed that someone actually made the cross, but then I realized that this is loose and it's actually knocking over here. So what I plan on doing is making a bracket so that it basically stands out like this the way it should actually be. I'm not going to let it sit like this, or like this. So it will basically be exactly like that and would not knock because I assume when I'm driving fast it kind of knocks against here and it basically creates this little cross over here, this, this little crack. So yeah, that is what's upcoming uh, for the future. Um, be in mind that this I am definitely going to fix. It might take some time because I might have to get um, a welder to actually do that and then I am going to attempt to actually uh, spray this. Uh, my friend, a friend of mine, Dane, um, he will be assisting me with the spraying. So no, I am actually not going to do everything, but I am going to have assistance such as Dane, as well as the dude that he's going to assist me with the welding over here. So yeah, guys, um, like I mentioned earlier, I hope you guys do like what I have came up with and you guys do like the content. If you guys do, please subscribe and please um, like uh, my videos. Maybe just give me a comment. Um, is appreciated and then for those that guys that are subscribed thanks for watching see you guys in the next video peace